marine animals contributing to science. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers' comments. Puma Bear had this to say, Just liked and sub. Love your videos. Keep up the awesome work. Smiley face. Thank you so much for commenting and subscribing, Puma Bear. And the rest of you, don't forget to subscribe. Now, back to our video. Number 13, the dogfish shark. It was a study that was conducted back in 2011 by an MD named Michael Zasloff, who works at the Georgetown University Medical Center located in Washington, D.C. that found something interesting. There's a compound called squalamine that is found inside of the tissue of dogfish sharks that has certain antiviral properties. These properties could potentially be used to fight off diseases like hepatitis and dengue fever, even diseases that are in our liver cells and blood vessels. Number 12, the pig. It wasn't until 1922 that a man named Frederick Banting was the one who discovered that insulin could be used to control diabetes. This revolutionary discovery helped pave the way for modern medicine. Ever since the 1980s, humans have been getting their insulin fixes from the pancreases of pigs due to the fact that porcine insulin is actually pretty similar when compared to the insulin that humans produce. Number 11, the viper. This species of snake is known for being one of the world's most deadliest snakes. Once bitten, the individual will then experience pain and swelling at the bite site, along with a steep drop in their blood pressure level. The toxin is then able to react with key pathways in the body that disrupts the flow of blood and the nervous system. Doctors have since realized that the viper's venom can be used to develop a treatment for certain patients that suffer from hypertension and abnormally high blood level. The venom was eventually used to help create the medication's ACE inhibitors. Number 10, the sea lion. Sea lions have been developing seizures that oftentimes are life-threatening because of their food source. There's a neurotoxin known as domoic acid that can be found in algae blooms. Shellfish will consume the algae and they'll be consumed by the sea lions. Researchers from the Marine Mammal Center in California and Paul Buckmaster a professor of comparative medicine and neurological sciences at Stanford University, have discovered, quote, striking similarities in the brains of these six sea lions and humans who suffer from frontal lobe epilepsy. This could aid the fight to treat epilepsy as it can't be prevented. Number nine, the grizzly bear. Grizzly bears must hibernate during the winter and they prepare to do so by eating a lot. As in, they eat enough to gain more than 100 pounds of weight to see them through it. Even though they rapidly gain all that weight, they don't suffer from any blood sugar problems or type 2 diabetes. Why? Their bodies are able to turn off a protein pathway located in their fat cells. The discovery was made by a senior scientist named Kevin Corbett, who works at Amgen and by researchers at the Washington State University Bear Center. The find may or may not be applied to humans. Number eight, the giant panda. Pandas are cute, fluffy bears that you just wanna squeeze because they're so adorable. But these bears are so much more than that. It turns out that these vulnerable classified creatures are carrying something pretty important in their blood. A compound called Cathlitocin AM has been discovered by researchers at the Life Sciences College of Nanjing Agricultural University in China. The compound is able to destroy any bacteria or fungi present in the bear's bloodstream, and they hope to use it to create new medications to help treat resistant superbugs. Number seven, the horse. These animals can be afflicted with over 90 different inherited diseases, like muscle disorders, infertility, and inflammatory diseases. This makes them an ideal model for studying human conditions. The genome of horses was decoded back in 2009, and since then, it's given researchers an insight into how these majestic creatures can help explain vision and skin problems. Horses have more keratin and opsin genes, which may or may not be how the horse gets its sharp eyesight and the formation of its hoofs. Scientists hope that they'll be able to get more insight on human diseases such as pachyonchia and blindness. Number six, the naked mole rat. Yes, it's true that these rodents aren't the prettiest things to look at, but there is something rather interesting about them that is being studied in labs. See, these beauties have an unusually high lifespan of up to 28 years. That's eight times longer than what a mouse would live. Remarkably, naked mole rats are impervious to developing cancer. In 2013, scientists discovered the chemical HMWHA, and it's what keeps the rats from getting cancer. Researchers are now trying to figure out how this find could be applied to us humans. Number five, the giant limpet. Did you know that the giant limpet isn't actually a true limpet, but rather it's actually a type of sea snail. Unlike true limpets, the giant limpet actually has a hole on the top of their shell where they expel waste rather than beneath the shell. The reason that these things are being used in medical research is because their blood is considered very special. Instead of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen in us vertebrates, these guys have hemocyanin that is used as a vaccine carrier protein. Just a liter of their blood is worth 
$100,000. Number four, hibernating bears. You're probably asking yourself, how the heck do sleeping bears have anything to contribute to science? Well, that's exactly how, by sleeping. See, when bears go into hibernation, something happens. It's estimated that around 20 to 30% of their synapses become lost. A synapse is what allows the neurons in your brain to pass chemical or electrical signals to other neurons. However, when the bear is awake from hibernation, these connections are restored and the bear suffers from no memory loss. This information could prove useful in the fight against diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. Number three, the Gila monster. This beauty of a lizard happens to be the largest of its kind in all of North America. It also happens to be the source for a highly beneficial drug called exanatide. That's right, the medication is derived from the Gila monster's own insides, but also straight from its saliva. The exanatide is being used to help treat the blood sugar levels of those who suffer from type 2 diabetes. The effects of their spit has been tested on the appetites of rats and has shown that the rats no longer craved specific foods such as chocolate. Number two, the porcupine. These creatures are most notably recognized for their prickly quills that end up in the faces of unlucky predators who are hungry enough to make the mistake of going after them. Once in range, the porcupine will launch their quills at their attacker. Researchers hope to study and use these quills to apply them towards human needs. The quills of a porcupine are easily able to pierce the skin, and biomedical engineers are trying to create a synthetic version of these in order to deliver less painful shots and, potentially, prevent fluid leakage after a surgery. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these animals you think will be the most useful in science, and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, the zebrafish. You may or may not have heard of a zebrafish, but they are extremely well known in the world of modern medicine. From cancer to repairing retinal damage, these small swimmers are used by scientists in a multitude of research programs. One of those programs being that the zebrafish is able to create its own special compound that helps it regulate its metabolism. An MD at the University of California, San Francisco, named Philip Gutt, who is the lead researcher of the project, hopes that this same compound could be used to help regulate obesity and type 2 diabetes.